Hi, this is Dr. Alex Schwartzman, and today we're talking about products that will help to reverse small cavities and make your teeth resistant to tooth decay. So there are several products on the market that help to do that, and the two main ones are fluoride, I know what you're thinking, and something called amorphous calcium phosphate, which is basically called ACP, which is the building blocks of teeth in a tube of toothpaste. So let's talk about fluoride. So fluoride is very controversial. And if you read anything online, if you read books about fluoride, well, everything you read about fluoride, unfortunately, is true. And I agree with it. So that's why I believe water fluoridation is one of the most stupidest things our government has forced upon us. Now, what people don't know is that fluoride has as much as it has a lot of bad effects on the body when you ingest it, when it goes into your bloodstream, when it's systemic, it has completely different effects on individual teeth. What fluoride does, it actually helps to heal early cavities by a process called remineralization. So the fluoride ion replaces the calcium ion in the enamel and it forms a crystal structure called fluorapatite. And fluorapatite, it's four times more resistant to acid attack than regular enamel. So think about this. You have a small cavity starting in a spot that's very hard to reach to clean. That's why you got the cavity, right? And now you've reversed that spot with fluoride, and now that spot is harder to decay. So you can take an area of your mouth that's more prone to tooth decay and with fluoride make it much harder to decay. Now, the question you should be asking yourself is this. When I brush my teeth with a fluoride containing toothpaste or I rinse my mouth with a fluoride containing mouth rinse for let's say one or two minutes, which is how long people take, how much of that fluoride get past my cheeks, get past my gums? into my bloodstream and cause the havoc I've been reading about on the internet. Well, guess what? There have been studies on this and it turns out it's insignificant. It's barely detectable. I don't think it's even detectable at all. The studies are a little bit inconclusive, but what they all show is that the levels are completely, completely, completely minuscule and barely detectable or not detectable at all. So the risk of systemic fluoride from brushing and flossing is insignificant. It's not even real. So people who have a massive tooth decay problem and who refuse to use fluoride to help themselves are really taking an important uh, piece of the puzzle in, their, in achieving health off the menu. So I, I encourage you to do your own literature search like I have and see for yourself that fluoride truly does not enter the bloodstream during brushing or rinsing. So I'm sure if you hold it in your mouth for 48 hours, I'm sure someone will get through, but that's not real, okay? Brushing your teeth for one to two minutes is real. So this product, Enamelon, has tested better than any other product in its class. It is a top dog. We actually switched to this recently, about a year ago in our practice, because it beat all other toothpastes of this nature. So this is a really effective product and unfortunately you could only get it through your dentist right now. So if you have a tooth decay problem, ask your dentist about it. Make this your exclusive toothpaste for at least six months, okay? And watch your cavities disappear, all right? Uh, we have reversed thousands of small cavities in enamel using this product.